Hey guys, J Dog here. And the Dog Sume. Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Splatter House. I have to think about it for a second. Oh yeah. Um. So I have something to mention. Dotsume has been having trouble on a online game called Backyard Monsters. Um. It's not that I suck. No, it's not that she sucks at all. It's that, uh. I wouldn't call it anything short of sexual harassment. Some Mexican kid on there keeps. He's part of an alliance on this game of 47 other people. And this guy is like, oh, I'll give you back your outposts if you send me sexy videos. And no lie, I know this sounds really racist, but I want to go over there and shank his ass to death. I don't give a shit, because one that's disrespectful to her, and it's disrespectful to me as the boyfriend, so... I mean, I filed a complaint, but he's still sending me messages. So yeah, um, if anyone watching these videos plays this Backyard Monsters game, both of us would greatly appreciate it if you um, contacted Adatsume on there and formed an alliance with her and kick their asses. Um, I'll post my email in the uh, description box. Hit me up on Facebook and uh, just mention that the Backyard Monsters fiasco and yeah. We'll gladly accept. Oh yeah, that, that was explaining blocking and dodging. Hold R2 to stand there and block like that and to duck and roll out of the way of attacks. I dodge Ugh. more than anything as you've seen on uh, some of our previous videos. I don't like to block so much and my sense it sort of leaves you open. Oh, that's another thing. Hold um, R1 and Rick will dash. It's not that he's slow or anything. In fact, he goes at a quick, pretty nice even pace. I'm just impatient. <laughs> Yummy. I don't know if I demonstrated a lot of the finishers in any previous video, but most of the different enemies have different finishers you can do on them. Most of them have up to three, and most of the heavy enemies and boss type characters only have one. <laughs> oh god, don't even start with the butt frog. <laughs> I don't think I'm even gonna, um, show that, because that can be um, mistaken for sexuality, and we can't have that on YouTube. No, well, it's not. You just can't have a boner on YouTube. <laughs> I mean, you can have a boner on YouTube, well, surfing YouTube, but you can't, like, post a video of it. I don't it. know why you would, but... Oh, I was, I find this video easy to masturbate to, comma. <laughs> I always find those so funny. I find those rather pathetic, to be honest. It's, I, I lol every time I see one. <laughs> it's difficult for uh, certain videos to get me off, so I can't find anything that's even allowed on YouTube anymore easy to masturbate to. 
Why are we talking about this? Well, those comments aren't serious, dear. That's what I was thinking. They aren't serious, but at the same time. I don't know. I'm not gonna start on a whole thing where you're all oh, so mature because I'm just as bad. Shit, we don't have any of those attacks either. Oh. I have some. There's a particular type of move that I like to use for these. They're called mask moves, where you get to tap into the mask's powers and uh, create some sort of bone esque. Protrusions. Yeah. Mostly blades that come out of Rick's arms, or like bone spikes that you can make come out of the ground and make a shockwave. I normally use those when I'm being overwhelmed by enemies. <laughs> Some guy who took over my one of my outposts on the backyard monster and just took out like he put a lot of expensive monsters into a housing thing and I just destroyed the housing. Hmm. Oh dick. <laughs> <laughs> Pussy, you're such a dick. <laughs> Not funny. Anyway, um, here we have the guy who ripped our arm off. You remember in the previous episode. And that was quite a traumatic and painful experience. So we're gonna return the favor and kick his ass. God, this is one of those games where the characters have something new to say every time you turn it on again. Maybe not every time you turn it on, but every time you play through it for another time. This guy does some nasty damage, so you'll find yourself using your uh, mask attacks and your healing ability quite often. That's my least favorite move right there. Remember when I said uh, that we were going to return the favor? This is what I meant. Oh yeah! Oh. Yeah, here we go with the power-up menu. Um, oh, I'm gonna power up health. And... Fast attacks. Now, this is basically how your experience works in this game. You get so much blood, and you can use that blood to power up your movesets. Not movesets, get your head out of the gutter. <laughs> Okay, so we just unlocked some new moves and powered up our health. So we're a little bit stronger now. You know, harder, better, faster, stronger. No. Oh, this is one of the more disturbing. Oh, she's know. being raped and she forgot her whistle. No, there's your whistle right there. That's not the one that she wanted to blow, though. <laughs> a perfect, like, when the camera's at, like, such an angle. Oh, yeah. Here's a name for that. You know what that name is? I learned it. Film class my freshman year in college, so it's a little far behind me. Ah. Great voice acting in this game, too. Um. That's all the time we have for this episode. It's called a Dutch angle. Ah. They use it in horror movies to make it seem like the room is more off kilter or something like that. More um. off balance. So you have a feeling of dread. Ah. Um, okay, well, next time we will continue the game. Uh, we don't have